And he says to her, and the Gemara explained that from today to before I die, so the Mishnah says, so what is she during that period of time, right? So Rabbi Yudah says she's like an Eishi, she's called Borev. She's a fool, like a married woman. Rabbi Yossi says it's questionable. Because unclear when he said Mayom, is it initially, or is it a moment before he dies? Right, that's the way the Gemara explains. It's an argument. Going to Rabbi Yudah, it means right before he dies. That means she's definitely an Eishi, Rabbi Yossi says no, it's questionable, so it's a Suffolk Eishi, Sish. Tana, we learned the Braiso. Vachi almost, but ultimately he has to die. Chimayi sabigito v'kama de gabli. It says means ton rabbonon yomim shemim taim. What about those days? These interim days. Ba'ilo zakoi bimtsiyoso. A husband normally, if a woman finds a lost, an ownerless object, who does it belong to? It belongs. It's like her, her income mm-hmm. belongs to the, to the husband. Ma'isiyodeo her handiwork. A force in dereo. He's able to nullify her vows. The yorsha and he inherits her. Umetami law. If he's a coin. He's what? He's, he contaminates. Close your dover. Harei ki ishtol kol dover. She's considered his wife. Elosh eno tzricha imenu get sheni. Div Reb Yudah. This is what? This, this really Reb Yudah consists in the Mishnah. What does Reb Yudah say? Reb Yudah says in the Mishnah, she's kesh, she's kol dover el. When he says, hayom, he says, hayom, ulacha misa. What did he mean? He meant today, but it should take effect right before. Today means right before he dies. So th- she's what? Therefore, she doesn't need a second get. The first get, Rameo be lost to you. Be lost to you. What is be lost to you? Hadovatoli achi yomus. Achi yamod. Either he has to die, right? If he dies, then she's divorced. Oh, achi yamon becholize mes minacholi habo lea potter. No, which means, no, no. He learns me. Hayom alacham. He said that means it's retroactive. So it's retroactive. Let's say she has relations with the man. It's not adultery. If he dies. If he dies. That means the re- he said, Me'ayom misa. If he dies, the dying is, is the condition. If he dies, she's, she's divorced retroactive in time she took to get. No, there's not. No, no, that's not. We're talking about what is her, what's her status. Is she a married woman or is she not a married woman? See, if she dies, it says, the lost So Rashi says, Hadavatoli achiyomus. Oh, achiyamun micholize, or he recovers, right? Imes minacholi habo leo potter. If he dies from that illness, let's say she had relations, it's not adultery because she's divorced <coughs> retroactively. The remeo mashmale meishani baolam hindi mishas nesino. When does the get take effect? When he gave it to her, except it's conditional. Vochi kamer, vochi kamer. Hareze gitech meishani baolam in mesi. It's, it's when I give you the get, the get's a get. However, it's conditional, I have to die. Hilkoch, kishemes. So when he does die eventually from that illness, Igloy Milsa, has been revealed. The Grushavoy, Bishaspia. So when she had relations with this other party, right? After she received the get, she already was a divorced woman. Vimlomes. But let's say she did, he, he didn't die. Habole Bechatos. She committed adultery, right? That's Rameir. The, the bilos tuya, the bilos tolu, it means it's dependent. If he dies, it's nothing. Right. If he doesn't die, then it's what? Then he, she committed adultery. Rabbi Yossi Omer, bilos is sofik. It's always a sofik. And that's again, this is Rabbi Yossi in the Mishnah. Mugoresh, any Mugoresh. Of course, we're not sure exactly what he meant. Before? Did he mean immediately or did he mean later? <coughs> so she, what is this? She, she's a sofik, ish, ish. Mm-hmm. So therefore, what would you bring? You bring uh, Ashim tolu. It's a question whether sure. he committed adultery. Now the question is, so seemingly the Chachomim will say, are, saying, are saying the same thing as Rabbi Yossi. Rabbi Yossi says, Bilos is Sofik. Rashi says, L'chshiyomus the mashlem me'esha nibola mius m'safkolon al shaz bia. Igvushavoy ilo. Shem azui shoh haruyo l'smoch l'somech l'misa. Shem e'en azu ve'en a grusha hilkoch im yomus mevi olel ha'ashem toli. Kointer Rabbi Yossi, since it's a sofik, whether she was an ishes ish, always bim lo yomus v'chatos vada. If he doesn't die of that illness, then it's chatos. The chamsim gurashim v'levachi yomus haynu namik rabbiosi. That's it. Say the chachomim are saying the same thing as rabbiosi. What rabbiosi says, it's unclear what he meant. Did he mean immediately? Did he mean later? Okay. 
Chomsei begureshe in begureshes. So they're saying the same thing. So Rashi says, "I namik Rabbi Yosi, the Maisi Oshin told me this vega mashu lukamon porish mezoni kimina." So what's the difference between the two of them? Kord Rabbi Yosi, she's a suffik yishes ish. Kord Chom, she's suffik yishes ish. So what's the halachic difference between the two of them? The question is, does he have to feed her? Right? He has not. A husband has an obligation to feed his wife. So if she's a suffik begureshes, in that context, does he have an obligation to feed her? We'll see. Uvachi Omas, Micah Bain Remei the Rabbi Yossi. What's the difference between Remei? Remei says that be lost until if he dies retroactively, it's nothing. He doesn't die, it's definitely a chatos. Right? Omri Ashram told Ike Ben Ayu. That's the difference. According to Rabbi Yossi, it's Ashram told Ike According to Remei, it's a chatos. If he doesn't die, what is it? If he doesn't die retroactively, what is she? she she's not divorced. The Remei, the Maisi Ashram told Ike. According to Remei, you don't bring an Ashram told Ike. Well, there be Yosef Hashem Shtoli. You bring the Hashem Shtoli. Well, as Rashi says, yeah. Lo Maisei Hashem Shtoli. Im Yomus El Pot Legam Kriishes Leil. Rabbi Yosef Im Yomus May Vizel Hashem Shtoli. The Chachomim Omrim. The Gureshe In Gureshes. Chachomim Shemarei Chachomim and Rabbi Yosef. The Chomer Saint Saint Is Rebbe. Rabbi Yosef says we lost a Sofik. The Chachomim say the Gureshe In Gureshes. So they're saying the same thing, just using different words. Where a husband creates a situation, he can't leave the wife hanging. He created the situation. So he says, you know, he'll create such a thing, and he's off the hook from feeding her. Despite that it's a suffix, you have to, you're obligated to support her. Rabbi Yosef says, no, since factually it's a suffix, the burden of proof is on her. See, he doesn't have to support her. Kord Chome, he has to support her because that's a Sovim Gureshes. Mm-hmm. Is what? Bail Chaim is on a sale. Yeah. What? What did you say? Yeah, anyways. No, because she may be divorced. If she's divorced, he doesn't have to support her. When he gave her the get initially, right? In such a thing. If I die, if I don't die. Let's say he dies. This is a question: Is the get effective immediately right before he dies, or is it effective immediately retroactive? So if that's the case, he doesn't have to feed her. He says, well, so since I may die, so then I don't, I don't have to feed her. So what? He's going to put her in a situation that, that she's not going to have any support. Despite that, you have to you have to support her. That's the position of Chachamim. So the other one, what you said was that. that uh so she, now she has to prove that he, he has to give. But she can't prove. She can't prove it. No, but that was the other side that she'd have to prove that. that That's was. That, no. This is a special takona. Right. Halachic in, in the reality, it's a most of Right. But because he's putting her in this predicament, right. we have an overriding factor. You have to support her. We're not going to allow you to put her in a situation where right. she's yes. going to lose the support. Right. zus here. It's a get unconditionally give me two hundred dollars. I raise him Gureshis. Yeah. The titin, the titin. When she gives. No, and he ha- and she has to give. Right. But let's say she doesn't give it. She's and not divorced. Am right. He says you have to pay within thirty days the two hundred dollars. Im nosto lo b'tov shloshim yom. If she made the du- the due date, Gureshis. Im lavein Gureshis. Of course, it's a regular <coughs> condition, conditional right. get. Am shim gamliel ma'aseh b'tzidon. There was an incident in Sidon that Sidon. It's Talisig. Yeah? She says, on the condition you give me my coat. Talisig is like an expensive coat. Okay. It's Taliso. Yeah? And then the coat went lost. She had his coat. On the condition you give me my coat. And the coat went lost. So yeah. the question is, did he mean the coat or did he mean even the value of the coat? Okay. That he wasn't specific, it had to be the coat. If it would be the coat specifically, then the get's not a get, if the, right. because she's never going to give it to him. It means the value of the coat. Okay? My thing. What does it says? If he gives it, he marries, he divorces on the case, she gives him $200, she's divorced, vititeng, and she gives. Right. What was the heat thing? What's my thing? Omer Rafun Omer of heat thing. Rabbi Omer Lichshet thing. What does it mean? Here, one says she must give it, and review these says when she gives it. What does that mean? But the same, the same thing. It means she has to give. He can be now she's kareh get Yeah. 
Interesting. What's going on? She has the get. Right. And let's say the get is destroyed. Okay. So he, did he mean to say you have to give it to me as long as you have the get? The well, get will divorce you yeah. if you give me. Right. Right? So it doesn't mean to say when, you, when the get is still exists that, that you have to give it then. So if the get should be destroyed, I give it to you and let's say the get no longer exists. Okay. That means it's post get. I'm not giving you, I'm not, the get's not a get if you give him money post get. What does it mean? You have to give it in the future. So whether the get exists or doesn't get, exist, you're divorced. You'll be divorced it, from the time he gave you the get. Here. Igabin al Shin is Kariya Gerash Ova. The get was this code in Matan Mos. Okay? Rafuna Maviti Tain. Right? She just has to give it. Regardless of whether the get is, is, is exists or not. So Rash says, Tanai Balmu. It's a regular get. Vichima Kaimale. When she fulfills the condition, So when was the get a get? It was initially when he gave the get. Yeah, again. If a person says the get is a get now, let's even say the get is a get now when you give me two hundred dollars in the future. Regardless if the get gets destroyed or not, it's irrelevant. Why? Of course it's retroactive. Right. Let's say he said the get is a get when you give me the two hundred dollars. That means when I gave you initially the get's not effective. Right. <laughs> <coughs> when you give me the 200, that's when it becomes a get. Good. It's like a person gives his wife a get. I'm giving you a get now, but it will be effective in 30 days. Right. So when is she divorced? Okay. In 30 days, although she received it today, when does the divorce actually take Activate. effect? 30 days later. So when he said, take the get on the condition you give me $200, does it mean to say, the get is a get now on the condition you give me $200. So when you give it to me in the future, it's retroactive. So let's say by the time you give it to me, the get no longer exists. It's not a problem. Because when did the get terminate the marriage? Initially when she received it. Right. But if he meant to say the get becomes a get when you give it to me, uh, so what happens later, the get doesn't exist. Good. So what, what's terminating the marriage? Right. There's no get. Right. Yes, that's the Mara says. Again. Rafuna <coughs> ma she doesn't need another get. Meaning, the get is a get now on the condition you give me $200 in the future. So whether the get exists in the future or not, it's, it's, it's irrelevant, you divorced immediately. When does the get become a get when you give the $200? Mm-hmm. So if the get is torn or destroyed, so then if it doesn't exist when she gives the money, so what's, making the, what's, what's terminating the marriage? There's no so get. Yeah. No, so they have a, a new get has to be written. Right. They have to write another get. Utenan nami, gabi kedushin kai gavnu. We have something similar by kedushin. Did nan, homali yishareh bukudeshesli amanashe etein loch masayim zuz. Right, right. He says, you married to me on the condition. You, you, he, he puts a ring on a finger. Harev kudeshesli with the ring. Amanashe, mm-hmm. give me $200. Okay? Harev mukudeshes. She's married. V'yitein. And he has to give. Right. So the Yitman, my now the same question, what is Vietain? Does it mean to say that marriage is a marriage now on the condition he gives the money in the future? So let's say the ring goes lost. Right? The ring goes lost. Doesn't make a difference because he married her now. There's a condition he must give it to her in the future. Ravuna Mavu Yitain. No, he gives the future. It's irrelevant. Rabu Dome Yitain. No, when he gives them 200, that's when the act of marriage takes place. Let's say a woman, let's say a per- woman who receives a ring, the marriage takes place in 30 days, and then she wants to change her mind before. She wants can't to back you, out. Can't she give it back? No, no, she could back out. The Allah yeah. she could back out. Man says, I want this marriage to take place in 30 days, and she accepts marriage from another person before. Good. She can do it. The second, she's married to the second person. Yeah. Correct? So if he said, here's the, mon- the ring now, if you give me $200, does it mean to say the act of marriage is only a marriage when you give me 200 so if she would accept Kedushim for another party, what's the halacha? She's, she's not married it. to the second one. Right. But if she's, she's married to the second one, not the first. But if it's immediate, it's conditional, you give me $200 in the future, so she's a married woman. Right. That's it, say. She extended her hand, she accepted the marriage from a second party. If it's when you give it to me, so when she accepted the Kedushim from the second party, she was not yet married to the first yeah. one. She was not married. But if you say Rafuna Mavu Yitain to no Balmu, Mikaim, to no Vozil, Mikaim, he's just fulfilling the condition. But when she was married, she was married immediately. Rabbi Domla Shiitain, 
L'chiyovlo, who the Avi Kedushin, when does it become an act of Kedushin? When he gives the $200, Hashvlo Avi Kedushin. But today she's not married, so she accepts marriage from the second party. She's married to the second one, not the first one. So it's, the, it's the flip side of, of, yeah. of Gittin. So Mar said, what do we need two cases? Rav Huna and Rav Yudah are arguing two cases. A Kedushin and a Gittin. I see, let them argue in Kedushin. I know the application for Gittin, right? Norman, you had a question. If, if I tell you, one and one is two. And I see, by the way, one minus t- from two is one. I'm saying the same thing. You tell, you tell me, Chidush. So if you tell them by Gittin, they're arguing. Is the marriage immediately, right? And it's a condition, or no, it becomes an act when you give the money. So if you tell me that's the mindset by Kedushin, it's the same mindset by a get. Right? It's, just, it's the application of the same principle. So why does Rafun and Rebuta have to argue the case in two cases? They argue by Kedushin, they argue by Gittin. With the argument by Kedushin, you just apply it to Gittin. So evidently there must be a reason, maybe I could differentiate, that the mindset by one is one and by the other is different. Therefore, they have to say, state the cases in both. They have to argue both cases. Right? Right? Meaning, what, what is he doing? He's bringing her close. Meaning, he wants to marry her. So what does he want to marry as soon as possible? So therefore, you say the condition is a condition immediately. So what with the $200? I mean, that's only a condition. If you give me the $200, it's retroactive. What a person is divorcing his wife, he prefers really to delay it. He says, I'll give you a get if you give me $200. So factually, he doesn't want to divorce her. If you give me $200, it'll be a get. So I'd say there, he wants to delay it. So I would say <coughs> there, what does he mean when you give me the money? That's when the get will become a get. Mm-hmm. So the, the get becomes a get first. If the get would be destroyed, she's not divorced, right? Abel Kabigershnilur Chokokosi. Right. He's coming to distance her to terminate the relationship. I'd say, does what Rebuda, what is, what is, give me the money? When does the get become a get when you give the money? But it's not immediate. So if that's the case, let's state the case only by, by Gershin. And I'll look at it. So he said, Yeah. It said, by Gabi Gershin, Bokam Rafuna, he titain, she must give it. Rafuna. He has no problem asking her for the money, right? Because the relationship is over. The get is immediately. Am I embarrassed to ask for $200? Look, no. I got the upper hand. Right. Do you want the get to be a get retroactive? Give me the money. Here they're just starting what he's going to start asking for the money. Right? Right? I'd say, you know something? The man is not getting involved in this relationship. He's not going to ask for the money, right? So his, mind, his mindset is, Wait and see. When will the Kedushin be a Kedushin if I get the money? If not, it's not going to be a Kedushin. But it's not retroactive. Yeah. If I'd have Kedushin, I'd say, Why is it only effective when he gives the money? Because she, because the Chsifa Limitve, she, she herself is what? Embarrassed to ask him yeah, for the $200. She's embarrassed to ask him. He has no embarrassment to ask her. And that it's immediate. Why? Because he's ending a relationship. So I'd say that's the reason why it's later. It's later. By Kedushin that he wants to marry her immediately. That the marriage is immediate. Therefore, I need both cases, both according to Ravuna and according to Rabbi Yudha. Okay? You see, Tosa says, I was thinking of it, Tosa says, what's that law? The man says to the woman, he gives her money, you marry to me, here's $200, and I'm, the marriage takes effect in 30 days from now. Mm-hmm. And then she spends the money. Is she married? No. She, she is alone. married. She is married. Did we say she has a loan? He gave the, mar- the money specifically for marriage, not a loan that you want to use loan money. He gave the money. Harab and Kadesh is with $200, but it should take effect in 30 days. Good, good. So the Mara says, even though the money was spent, since it was given specifically for that, and there, there is a lien on her, she has a debt, it was given for that, she's married. But let's say he give her a document. Right. He marries her with a document. And the document is destroyed. When 30 days comes, the document doesn't exist any longer. She's not married. 
Because right. the instrument to bring about Kedushin is it's not, not there. there. Here, there's something which lingers on. It's the money that you owe me because right. I gave it specifically for Kedushin. Right. Right? There's a debt. The debt, it's a Kedushin debt. So since the debt exists, that's sufficient to bring about, bring it on. But a get, a star Without for Kedushin, it. the star doesn't exist, the marriage right. is not a marriage. So if the Gemara says, what's the halachic difference if by marriage, if, <coughs> if what's his name, if he says in 30 days or now, so the Gemara says if she received Kedushin from a, took Kedushin from a second party, if it means the Kedushin is Kedushin 30 days, if she receives Kedushin from the second party, she's married to the second one. She says, why do we say that, like we said, by get, if the get is destroyed? Yes. Maybe the money, say the money doesn't exist. Yes. So Tos says, no, if the money doesn't exist, she's still married. Mm -hmm. She's yes. still married because that's no the Gemara Kedushin, that even though the money was spent, since mm -hmm. there is a debt for the money that was given, that's the equivalent of the money still existing. Therefore, the Gemara say, she received Kedushin from a second party. So since she received Kedushin from a second party before the first marriage took oh, effect, right. so when 30 days come, she's already married woman, right. so the second marriage cannot take place, right. or the first marriage can't take place. Phantosis. Okay. Meisvei. Harei zegitech amnashtit nilimosayim zuz. This is your get, on the condition you give me $200. Okay. Api shin nikra get, shin nevad mugureshes. Hear this? Even if the get is destroyed or lost, she's, she's, she's divorced. So who's that according to? Mm. That's according to what? That's according to Rafuna. It's very good, right? Rafuna said that even if the get is destroyed, it is. I mean, because it's only condition. Right. But she's not permitted to marry another person until she gives the money. Why? Because what if she doesn't give it? The condition wasn't met. Right. So that rice we just cited supports who? Rafuna. When does the get a get? It's immediate. Right. On the condition that you give me the money. Right. So therefore, even if though the get is destroyed, she's still married. She's still divorced. Because the get, when did the get take effect? Immediately. Right. Okay? We learned another price. On the condition, give me $200, and he dies. If she gave the money, whatever. She gave him after the man died. Okay. She doesn't fall to Yibam. She's where he's, he's childless. He never had children from her. So if, let's say, he gave her the get before he dies, on the condition he'd give me $200. Okay. She didn't have a chance to give, but eventually she gave the 200 okay. And he Pretty dies. Nice. And he dies. Right. She doesn't fall to Yibum. Okay. She never gave. She's not. So what do you see clearly over here? Right. That what? That the get is immediate. Mm -hmm. And the t paying out the money is only a condition. Right. Even though she didn't give it to him, she get, means when he said, you give it to me, even for the family, even to the heirs, she gives it to him. The Tanakhama says he's the one who has to receive it he when he says me it. and not his, not his heirs. Umar Sov Rishimengliel says, I feel the Yorshai. But all of them agree. But you see clearly, when he says Alma Nasa it means it's immediate, and Alma Nasa is means it's immediate, and Alma Nasa is only a condition later. Not that it becomes that then. So Tufti Reb Yudas, it seems we have two prices we just quoted, which is a refutation. No, which is a refutation. Tuf means a refutation of Reb Yudah. Because Reb Yudah says, when, when does the get become a get? When does, it's only when you give the money. Mm -hmm. We just quoted two prices, that the get's immediate, and what? The payout is only a condition. Right. No, it's not a question of me. We attribute this price to Rebbe. What's Rebbe? The Omar. Rafun Omar Rebbe. Rafun said, "Call the Omer Amnas come on Machshav Domi." Hear this: When a person is Amnas, it's it's as if you said from now, okay. so therefore it's retroactive. I mean, we hold normally. No, if I said when you give, it means then, right. the future. But here, but Rabbi Yudah, Rabbi Yudah, no, he holds. If you say Amnas, it's like saying from now. Upli Rabbonon Alei, but no Kiradami Kiradbonon. So it's no question on me. I follow the position the Chachamim. That we don't say ma'achshav. It's as if it's, he said now. So unless you say it should take effect now, it doesn't take effect retroactively. Right. So these prices are going like Rebbe. Vom Reb Zera, ki avin bebovel. Reb Zera says when I was Reb Zera was originally a Babylonian, right? And then he went there to Israel. So Reb Zera says ki avin bebovel amina and hodiyam rafuna am Rebbe. Kol amen ask kom ma'achshav dami pli rabon alei. That's what they originally said. They said that the Chachomim, they argue with Rebbe regarding this particular point. 
Kislika, but when I send it to Eretz Yisrael, Ashkach Teilu Rabasi, I came upon Ravasi. Ravasi was called the coin of Eretz Yisrael. The Yosef Kamish made the Rabbi Yochanan. He was sitting, he said over there, Rabbi Yochanan. Rabbi Yochanan was the Rebbe of, 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 of Ravasi. And he had said, Hakol Modim. Everybody agrees. There's no argument. There's no argument to Chacham Rebbe. So if that's the case, Rabbi Yudah's answer is not a good answer, right? Mm. Rabbi Yudah answer, answered the Chacham argue with Almanas. He says, when I went there, so they said, Rabbi Yochanan says, even the Chachomim agree when you say Almanaz, that's a Me'achshav. So what's the Machlokis? Almanaz is definitely is now. What about, he says, Me'ayom Lachamisa? From now until I die. Right. What, is, what is the meaning of today? Hayom. Hayom. Hayom, does that mean it's from now? Or, or does it mean it accumulates? No, it accumulates until I die. Right. And what, what's the case of Hayom? It's a soft, did, did he mean Hayom? And it's a retraction, it means later? Or Rebbe Vadi Tanohavi, okay? So we're asking a question, but Tanya, we learned the Brisa. So according to Rebbe Yochanan, the person says almanas, almanas definitely means a condition. <coughs> that the get is immediately a get, and the condition is immediately a condition. Conditionally, that you do whatever you have to do. But if he says, Hayom lachamisa, that's where Rebbe and the Chacham argue. So we're asking, Fatanya, Fatanya, a proof to this. Fatanya is a proof. Ulachamisa get, they no get. Divir Chacham, you see clearly. Where they, Rebbe Yoba, because they get, Rebbe says, no, Hayom lachamisa means retroactive. Rebbe, the Chacham say, it's get, it's a suffix. So you see, where's the argument? Specifically, not by Almanas, yeah, but, but rather yeah. by Hayom and Achamiso. Oh, so now we have a problem. So if we have a Bryce that says explicitly, they don't argue by Almanas. Yeah, now, 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 now Rebuda is a problem again. Because Rebuda says when you give the money, that's when it takes effect. Right. We quoted two Bryce that says it takes effect retroactively. And you can't answer me, it's Machlux Rebbe Yudha, Rebbe and the Chachomim, because we just showed there's no argument. When you say Almanas, everybody agrees, it's retroactive. Or Rebbe Yudha, Dom Almanas, Pligi, Ad Mifli, Me'ayom Lachamis, Lifli Ba'almanas. He said, phenomenal. What if, if you tell me they're arguing by Almanas, what is it, why does the Bryce establish it by Hayom Lachamis? It's a great Echidish. He says, Lo Gliach HaKochet the Rebbe, because he wants to show us the, 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 the strength of Rebbe's position. That what? That, that even the Hayom Lachamisa, right? Is retroactive. Almanas is retro, definitely retroactive. Hayom Lachamisa, which is more reason to question, even that's retroactive. Okay? So, Mares, the Lifni, the Lifli, the Balmanas, the Koch, the Rabbonon, show the Koch the other way. That Almanaz is not Me'achshav, like Hayom Lachamis is not Me'achshav, to show how strict the Chachamim are. And the answer more is, Koch that Tera Odifle, you this, Norman, it's very important. That what, when does one show his greatness? When you, when you present a leniency, a person can be a total ignoramus. You come to a person who's a rabbi, everything's not kosher. You, you have to know nothing, it's not kosher. You have a question, it's not kosher. So when do you show, show true Torah scholarship? When you present a leniency. So Rabbi Yudah Nossi, when he chooses a case to state it in the Brisa or in Mishnah, it's always to bring out the greater leniency. Not to, because for stringency it doesn't show any greatness. That's why he chooses the case, Me'ayom Lachamiso, rather than Abanas. Rather than Abanas. On the condition. When a person says on the condition, does he mean now? Or does he mean later? Okay. What's the olive? Well, what's the next olive? Only nuts. No, that's 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 the Rambam. It's out of rule. Amnash mm. um, didn't leave me convert Shoshim. But what happens if he says to the wife? Two days, two, thirty days. No, you have thirty days to pay it. Right? Amnash um, didn't leave me convert Shoshim. She's more sheet, so of course he has to pay it. Since she doesn't pay it in thirty days, what happens? It's not a get. So what's the chiddush? Maybe when he said 30 days, he doesn't mean 30. He means even after. So why does he say 30? Because he wants a motivator. That she should feel the urgency of pay it off. So in that case, if she misses the 30-day due date, it's still good. No, she doesn't pay it in 30 days. You have to write a new get. Right? 
Omer of Shimon Gamliel, Maisa B'Tzidon. There was a story in Tzidon, right? What was the story? The story was, a person says, it should be a get, I'm not it's Talisi. You give me my coat. So the Chachamim ruled, when she said, he said the coat, he doesn't mean the actual physical no, coat. Mean. If the coat is lost, it means it's value. Omer of Shimon Gamliel, Maisa B'Tzidon, my Tana, if Tony Maisa, and this, this incident has nothing to do with the previous discussion. Right? The previous discussion is, just, I, I'll, you should be divorced if you give me so much money. You should be divorced if you give me $200 in 30 days. Right. All of a sudden, the Mar tells of a story. Shemuel says there was a story. A husband said, I'm not giving my coat. Even if the coat doesn't exist, you give its value. It has no relevance to the whole previous discussion. Right? So w- how does it fit into the Mishnah? So Mar says, Chasuri Mechsra. Something's been deleted from the Mishnah. What's been deleted? Vochdan. Im omam nas. Shetit leitz talisi. Vov taliso. Of the Itzaliso, Itzalisi Dafko, Komar. Look, you hear what he says? On the condition you give me my coat. My, this is my coat. Not a coat, my coat. The of the got lost, Itzaliso, Itzalisi Dafko. Because there he says, Itzalisi, my coat. Komar, Lo, Shimulio, Omer, Tite, Lois, Domeo. He says, No. Be, you could give, you mean you could give, you give it a replacement value. Replacement value is enough. Because when he said my coat, he didn't mean only okay. that and nothing else. He meant that I should be able to purchase another one if not. It's enough to pay its value. Even though the coat doesn't exist, it's good enough. Boy, my name is Ravasi, my Rabbi Yochanan. Ravasi posed the question to Rabbi Yochanan. Hareze gita cham na shetit li musayim zeus. Yeah? No, the get should be a get on the condition that you give me... This is what the husband says to the wife. You give me $200, it's a get. If not, not. There's, there was a chuv, there's a chuva Moshe has. You know, sometimes the husband doesn't want to divorce the wife. So, it's a problem. But for a certain amount of money, he's willing. So this person... Um, worked it out, Ramosha worked it out that this person's father, the woman's father said, you divorced my daughter, give you $200,000. And he says, give me a month to pay it off. I'll give it to you in a month. So Ramosha oversaw the get, he gave the get. He was very, you know, the woman was happy. He was happy. God, he's he's, he's, he's going to get $200,000. So the, what's his name? The father says to Ramosha, he says, I'm sorry, now that I got the get, I'm not giving him the money. <laughs> so Moshe says, you know something? You don't give the money, your, wife's, your, your daughter's a married woman. It's clear he only gave, he, even though he didn't say Amnas, he didn't say Amnas, he gave me 200000 He gave the get only because you said you would give 200000 You don't pay that money, your daughter never, was never divorced. Okay? Listen to this. I raise the gid Mosaim Zuz, of Omala Mukhulam Loch. He waved it. Hear this. On the condition, give me two hundred dollars, and he says, "By the way, you know, forget about it." Oh. The, right? Does she actually have to pay it to activate the get? Or do we say he, he, forg- he forgave it? He, he forgave it, right. but he, she never paid the money. Right. So she never paid the money. The get. Or do we say no? On the condition that you owe, oh, still owe me the money, that you should no longer owe me the money. Okay. So it doesn't mean she has to actually give it to him. So right. if he waves it, she doesn't owe him the money. Right. Unless you, what does it mean to give me? I should have $200, I should be $200 richer, or that you should not owe me $200. So normally, how do you not owe the $200? By paying, by paying. But there's another way by not owing, if I waive it. Right. So he chose to waive it. Now, Tiboy the Rabbona, Tiboy the Rabbona, this child is a child according to the Chachomim, and this child according to Rabbona Gamliel. Tiboy the Rabbona, I can't look at Rabbona, I can't look at Rabbona, I can't look Because there, what, what he said, the, the coat. If you, right? The Chum says, if a man says, I'm divorced, you're on the ditch, you give him my coat. Right. And the coat went lost, the Chum says, it's not. It's, right. not. it's not a divorce. Why? Because right. the coat meant the coat, not its value. Right there. Right. right. No, right? He says, right. He says, right. He says right. He didn't, wasn't mochled the coat her. Right. He wants his coat. So if she, he doesn't have the coat, she doesn't have the coat, it's not a divorce. He said, it's waived. 
So since he says it's waived, so it's a good get. O Dilma, I feel Rav Shimon Leil, Lokamar Elo to come faisale with the May. He says Ibrav Shimon Leil says, you know when, you, when he said the coat, he meant the coat, but it's only when he's agreeable to take the money in the place of the coat. Avul Lagamri Lo, but we receive nothing if the man gets something, right? Even though he's not getting exactly what he wants, he's willing to settle for, for second best. Good. But if he's mochel altogether, his intent was never not to get anything. When he says, the get's a get, I'm not sure give me $200. Right. He never had in his mind that I'll get nothing. Okay. Good. If a had a coat, right. so you know something, I'm, he, he, when I get its value, at least I'm getting something. Good. That we say that was part of his mindset. But to be mochel, where you get nothing, his, that was never his mindset. So if that's the case, the get's not a get. Can we challenge it with, with uh, Kedushin? We had that with the wife. She said, uh, I, I will forgive you uh, the money. And we said, it's good because she's getting enough. <coughs> so it's a different concept. Different, different thing. No relevance. Again, he's saying like this. Rav Shimuel says, the get's a get on, on the condition of giving my coat. Comes out, she doesn't have to go. She, she to lost it. You owe me two. So the Rav Shimuel says that if she pays the value, that's enough. Now wait, 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 wait. Because when he said the code, we say he didn't mean he would prefer the code, but, but minimally it's value. Right. That was his mindset. So the condition is met. Right. When a man says, I'll divorce you on the issue, you give me $200. Right. That means the man wants something. Good. He wants something. Let's say now he's mochalit. He waves it. He's getting nothing. And, and when he gave it a get, he never had in mind he's getting nothing. Okay. So if he never had in mind he's getting nothing, the get's not a get. Buy the coat, although he said coat, I prefer coat, but at least get him $200, it's value. Right. But, there. but here, if he's mochala, he's getting nothing, that's the Shiloh. Lo kama elot kama faisli bitmei, avul gabri lo, where he gets nothing, it's not. Oma lei, sir Rabbi says, Ravasi, ain mulareshes. She's not divorced, because even though he's mochala, he said, I want to receive something. He never received $200. Eisveik. You have it, no. No, no, I do, but, I, but he has received sort of the satisfaction that she was willing to pay $20 to divorce me. That was the point I brought up, the rabbi says it's not going to go he has elevate. received, uh, he set up this condition and to have it down. Wait a second, wait a second. It's, you pay, it's paid wait, off. Wait, wait, so the case of the mission by the code. No, right the case of the mission by the code. Factually, she's paying him $200. Right, okay, exactly. I said, on condition you give me $200. Yeah. Okay? And he gives her. So even though it said the code, but it means something. I'm, I'll divorce you and the kitchen give me $200 cash. After he says, I waive it. When he said that originally, did he want something for the get to be a get? He wanted something. Right. Did he ever get it? No. So he never got it. It's nothing. That's how he's differentiating. The ca first case, he would have preferred the coat. Right. But second best, I'll take its value. But here, when it says 200 and you end up with nothing, that he never intended the get should be a get if you give me nothing. Okay. Okay. One second. So Rabbi Yochan says, "Ain't mukhareshes." So if he's mochalar and she doesn't give the two hundred dollars, ain't it's the get's not a get. And we rule this way, "Ain't mukhareshes." Aisve, we learned the brayser. Homel chaveru konim shani neneli, shato neneli. Person says to his friend, "I make a nether, you cannot benefit from me." Nether, regular nether, right? Shato neneli. Em iato nosein libni kur achet shalchitim, kur echod. If you don't give my son a certain large me measure of wheat, you know something, you're off limits to me. It's a conditional netter. Mm -hmm. If you give my son this large measure of wheat and, and, and two barrels of wine, you permit it to me. But if not, I'm off limits to you. My okay. property is what I am. Rameer Omer, Rameer says he's not permitted to benefit from the man until he gives him what he said he would give him. Okay. Yeah, say opposite. You know, he has, he's permitted to take. I he made the netter. He didn't give the what, the wine, or he didn't give the wheat. Yeah, abzi Why? kabalti. this. The person can say, be considered. It should be considered like I received it. Yeah. So what do we see? Even though in actuality he didn't receive he didn't it, it, but he could say, I, I value it as if he did give it to me. I don't want it. So here we see not like what Rabbi Yochanan ruled. Rabbi Yochanan ruled before 
that if you waive it, since it hasn't been paid, it gets not a get. And here we're saying that even though he didn't get it, because since he could be mochel, that's that's. Yeah. When he says Amnas, the gets to get Amnas, give me two hundred dollars. When he waves it, what was his original intent? Look, you want a divorce? A divorce. What? What? He bring it all kinds of conditions. Two hundred dollars. She has to come up with. You know something? I want it. It should be painful. When a man divorces, he wants it to be painful. Not always, but if he's asking for two hundred dollars, yeah. that means he wants to be painful. When he wants to be painful, yeah. One second. Hosam harvochu, there it's profit. No, it's saying very good. He wants to pain the woman. So when you want to pain, shoot. If I'm mocha, I didn't pain her. So therefore, the condition there is you have to actually she has to pay it. Right. She doesn't pay it; it's not a gift. Over here, we're saying that there's a netter that you don't need a chacham. What do you say? I want your off limits to me if your son doesn't accept this large amount of if you don't give my son a large amount of wheat and two barrels of wine. So we say over there you could say kilos kabalti. The father could say consider it like I, I received it. Okay.